Good morning my loves, come with me to get a Christmas tree. As usual, I'm in a rush, so we're gonna crack on and go to B&Q and find a Christmas tree that is worthy of my living room. Now, I did this last year, but I can't actually remember what brand or what make of Christmas tree I got. I feel like I did some research into it and got the one that doesn't leak a load of thistles all over the floor, because I don't want to be hoovering every day. But basically, gonna get the Christmas tree, gonna put it up over here. So this is the before the Christmas decorations. I love it, to be honest. I could happily leave my living room like this. But alas, my baby Tina, this gorgeous plant is gonna have to go. And I'm gonna put the Christmas tree up there. It should be fun. It'll have the living room looking nice and lovely and cozy, just in time for Christmas. We say just in time. It's actually December 1st, so. Just in time to not be late, which is kind of my style over the last few weeks. Let me just turn off this fireplace because I'm heading out. But yeah, I think that's a really good spot for a Christmas tree. I'll probably go for one that's like six or seven foot. I'm really not sure. Um, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I mean, I pretty much wear the same thing most days. I really haven't updated my wardrobe properly in about like a year. Um, please ignore the pile of laundry on the floor. I'm doing a lot of laundry right now. Still, still doing a lot of laundry, can you imagine? Um, but yeah, this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna head out, we're gonna get a Christmas tree, put up some Christmas decorations. I did already get some, wait, you can see me better like this. Can you see me? Am I in focus? I did already get some Christmas tree decorations from Next. I'm not sure if they'll be enough, but I'm just gonna try and go with it and see if they will be enough because they were kind of pricey they weren't like crazy pricey but it was just like more than i wanted to spend on christmas tree decorations <clears throat> i do still have the ones from last year but i'm just not feeling the gold i feel like i've matured since then i don't want a sparkly gold i want something that's a little more demure i want some touchy feely velvets and whatnot um and the tree decorations that next were like gorgeous but they were like 20 pound a pack a, a pack of six, by the way, a pack of six baubles was 20 quid. So that just feels a little expensive for me. So what I might do is just buy some materials um, in terms of like just some touchy-feely stuff that will be good. But first things first, I need an actual tree because then I'll know what I need and what I'm feeling and what I want, what my heart is telling me. My heart's telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me yes. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I just want you to know. And I do this with one hand. Oh, oh. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Oh, but I don't know if I can finish. Two seconds. Oh, sh. Spilled it everywhere. Was it worth it? Was it worth it, my friends? Was that worth it? So refreshing. Okay, bye! I think I actually just hit the camera in the door. I'm so sorry. My bad. It smells kind of funny. I once read this quote that was like, never get into a smelly lift. Because if someone gets in, they're gonna assume it was you. So, luckily this one's not stopping. But here's my full outfit. Plus boots. You've seen this one before, right? I wear it like most weekends. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys, look how cute this is. It's like a little reindeer inside a bauble. And also, because it's December 1st, everything is on sale. Literally, everything is on sale. So I think this might be my new tactic for getting cheaper Christmas decor. They're all so pretty. I just popped into Sainsbury's to see what they've got. I mean, no offense, but pom-poms on a wreath. I mean, sorry if anyone is watching this and has that in their home. Whatever you love, whatever makes you happy. But that, it's not coming anywhere near my house. I'll tell you that for sure. It ended up being such a stressful day. The first b and I went to didn't have any of the trees I wanted left. So I had to go back home, go to a meeting, come back out, go to a different b and And this lovely man helped me net the tree. But it was still really hard and long. Hey friends, I am home. It has been the most stressful day. You know it's stress when my lips are not 
glossed. That's how you know I'm stressed. There's the Christmas tree. So I finally got the Christmas tree, managed to get it into the car by myself. While taking it out of the car, the netting got caught and all the netting pulled off the Christmas tree. Now, if you've bought a real Christmas tree before, you know that the netting is the only thing that keeps it a manageable size to move. Otherwise, you're moving something like this. So I just lugged that out of the car through one, two, three, four sets of doors into the lift to the flat and here we are and there are thistles everywhere which really annoys me because i spent all that time picking a tree that was nice and full and then due to absolute manual labor i think i'm just annoyed and i'm really really hungry i've barely eaten all day i didn't have lunch do i even have breakfast i had a bowl of porridge for breakfast and i've just had biscuits other than that oh my gosh i'm so hungry i'm so so hungry so i think i'm hungry and the hunger is making this feels so much worse but anyway I've got the saw from last year so I'm going to saw off the bottom and I'm going to put the tree up and I've also ordered a five guys which is on the way I feel like all I do on this channel is ordering it's so bad but I've ordered a five guys and I'm, I'm just going to enjoy I'm just going to put the tree up and enjoy it no no more stress no more stress We get a nice little makeshift coaster from the process. Well, almost. I cut it a little bit wonky, so. <sighs> okay. Got a nice cut to end there. And then, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Baby Tina, I love you, baby. I speak kind words to my plants because I heard that they grow better when you do. And honestly, Oh, I think it's working. Here's a new stand that I got from the little roadside tree shop that I went to that didn't have any good trees. What I was talking about there was that I drove through London traffic to go to a tree shop that they made look amazing on the website. But when you got there, it was literally just a load of trees on the side of the road and they were all terrible and covered in bugs. That's my five guys. Anyway, as I was saying, I went to multiple different tree shops, had multiple fails. It was so annoying. So that's why I was so hungry <laughs> when I got to this stage. I also seriously underestimated how hard it would be. Had that at the total wrong angle. But look. I mean, it was super wonky and rearranging a tree, not only are they heavy, but it's like awkward and they're spiky and prickly. So it hurts your hands. And me doing this by myself, oh my goodness, no. Back to soft life, someone come pick me up. Daddy, come pick me up, I'm scared. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. <laughs> Like for real um last year i did it with a friend and it was so much better doing it by myself was just manual labor and it was really hard and it was a full-on workout i was really proud of myself because i had to get it done and so i just got it done i was really proud of myself i did it i got it straight that looks really good it looks so good Whew. i can't believe i was almost gonna get an eight foot one that's so funny I need to remember seven for my favorite number. My favorite numbers are two and seven. 72, 27, four favorite numbers. But yeah, note to self. I literally was so close to getting an eight foot tree, but this is a seven foot tree and it just about fits. I need to take that netting off the bottom. Ugh, it was coming off easily enough before. But yeah, I think that looks good, even with all the Wahala she went through. It's so funny because I just saw a bug on it, but it's crazy how when it comes to Christmas trees, I'm just like, Do you know what? Bugs don't count. Jingle bells 
pajamas on I've got some Christmas music on or I did I paused it so that I could speak to you guys I've just finished a long shift at work um it is I think it's the 2nd of December today it's gone so quick um so I want to decorate the tree now I do think I need some more decorations I want to get some ribbon um I want to get some spray paint to like paint last year's decorations because I've got these pearls or these beads but I'm just not feeling the colours and um, I really want like matte colours this year I don't want everything shiny I actually have a load of Christmas baubles from last year which I don't want to use which is so bad but I figured if I can get some paint and spray them then maybe I can make the what, what I want like visually I just I just don't really want to compromise on what I want it to look like um, so these are the baubles that I got from M&S which I love but I haven't seen them on the tree yet but they're kind of like green brown um, a little more muted not necessarily muted but just a little more natural looking I've always gone for like gold shiny Christmas trees this is the first time that I'm going for I mean it's still pretty golden shiny but this is the first time um, so I've actually already put up the lights and after putting them up I'm like I kind of like it like that part of me thinks it looks good just like that like look at that it looks very like let me show you from far away I think that looks really pretty and like understated you know oh holly jolly christmas and um, yeah i think it looks really pretty like that but obviously i'm not going to leave it like that because your girl would marry santa claus if it meant i could celebrate it all year round so i'm determined to decorate it as much as i can tonight i figured if i get it dressed as much as i can get it dressed that's cute if i get it dressed as much as i can now then I know what I still need because in my mind I feel like I want some more ribbons I just want little bits and bobs but I figured let's do what I can tonight and then we'll see where we're at okay let's do this oh some other baubles that I got from M&S oh, let me show you they're like these ones now these were £15 they're a bit cheaper they are a lovely colour and they're a bit smaller which I think is better because Sometimes big baubles can be really heavy and fall off, but they're really shiny, to be honest, and they're not quite the colour that I want. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I might not put them on, but at least I can return them if not, so. Okay, let's do this. We're chasing snowflakes as they're falling down And follow Rudolph all across the town Played it with me under the mistletoe While Santa's busy staying I bought these gorgeous reindeer baubles from Sainsbury's they were on sale but honestly I feel like the tree looks quite good without them I'm not sure it's needed um, but I'll add it anyway seeing as I've bought them and we'll see but how cute are they it's literally like a reindeer inside a bauble um, yeah super cute I was pretty pleased with that bargain that's how it's looking so far I mean, I kind of like that, but I do just want some ribbons just for a little bit of like longitudinal decor to make it look a little taller. But yeah, not too bad. 
I love these baubles. I did put on the little reindeers, but they were too shiny and too heavy for the tree. So as gorgeous as they were, they're going back. I'm sticking with these more muted tones. Let me just change the light. Good morning, you guys. It is the next morning. <laughs> tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and I just found, or just remembered that I have this gift ribbon. Um, I bought this gift ribbon a while ago when I was making like a little hamper for my sister. Um, so it's gold, it's pretty, it's a little brighter than I wanted, and I've also got some white, again, a little brighter than I wanted, but I was like, maybe it will work on the Christmas tree, and it will just save me from buying more stuff, because I really just don't feel like I want to buy more stuff. And I think it could work actually because the gold in this is kind of a similar shade to the one in this photo on the wall. It's kind of almost a match. I know it's ridiculous that I match everything in my living room to this one painting that I bought um, three or four years ago now. <laughs> but I just love it so much. So. Um, yeah, I've put a couple on. Do you want to see what it looks like? Because, I don't know, I'm not sure. I do kind of like it, but yeah, what do you think? I've just put on the white there and the gold. Um, I don't know. They look... I kind of like the vibe. And it's a very cheap, inexpensive way to, like, finish off the tree. But I'm just not sure. Like, if I had gone to the shop, I'd probably have bought, like... A muted brown but maybe if it was muted brown it would just look like a shoe you know which is not what I want yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure what to do who knows it's so funny as well because the back of my tree is definitely bare right now I have literally 18 baubles on the tree I feel like that's enough actually but it's just funny because the back of the tree has nothing on it <laughs> so I told myself that I would just put one on to see how it looked and I was like, well, I can't really tell how it looks with, that, with just one on. So I'll just put another one on to see how it looks. And now the tree is covered in bows. <laughs> what do you think? I actually kind of like it. They're super easy to tie as well. You literally just put them around the branch. And so if I want to take them off, I can just pull this. Um, and I still have so much ribbon left. Like, what a cute way to decorate a tree. I kind of like it, you guys. I'm totally laughing, because it's honestly as though if a human only dressed their front half and then they turned around and their buttocks were just free, free in the wind. Um, that's how I'm dressing my tree. <laughs> I'll probably put a few more on on the side so it's less obvious, but... Looking cute, girl. Looking cute. I kind of like it, you guys. Hello, my loves. I feel tired. I went shopping. I did not wake up early to go shopping. I went at about 3 p.m. and it wasn't too busy actually. It wasn't too bad. I'm hosting an end of term games night with my acting class. I'm super excited because they're super cool people. I'm really lucky to be in class with them. Um, so I've got a load of food and I said it was a games night and then I realized I don't really have, <laughs> I don't really have any games. So I just went and bought like the most like so many games. I panicked so much that I accidentally got Monopoly twice from two different shops. So I've got Monopoly, Articulate, Charades, something called The Mole and a pack of cards. And another Monopoly just to be safe. Oh, and Jenga because Jenga's just fun and who doesn't love Jenga? But anyway, this video is not about that. Um, while I was out, I did stop by Wilco and I wasn't really looking for Christmas tree decorations. I was more looking for um, stuff for the garland that I want to put over the fireplace. And I got these little cinnamon bundles. So they're cinnamon sticks. That I'm just going to attach to the Christmas tree. Um, they're pretty cool actually. So they've got this little like twine on it that I can twist and attach it. I don't need to have anything dangling. And I just figured I'm really loving real natural pieces. And I also got these like berries. So these like dried berries. These were from Hobbycraft and they just look really cute. So I'm gonna try and get them on the tree somehow. Fairly certain they're real anyway, so it's the best of nature, so I hope so. And they look pretty decrepit, so I think so. Another thing that I bought, which I'm not happy with and I'm gonna, oh, apart from some pots and pans, because I'm cooking for the first time in a while and realized <laughs> I don't actually have enough pots and pans. 
I also got this stocking. I got two stockings because my mum's visiting me um, just before Christmas and I was going to put them up on the fireplace but I just don't like the way that they look if I show you. I just, I feel like I settled um, and I panic bought because they were £4.50 but I just don't want that there. Uh, I want something cream or beige. But, so yeah, those are going back but I thought I'd just put these on the tree. In fact, I'm lying. I've already put a couple of them on the tree even though the tree looks gorgeous already oh I put the beads on I can't remember if I filmed that but I put the beads on I was gonna paint them but I couldn't be bothered and actually I think they look all right they do bring a bit more shine that I wanted but it's not too much but yeah here is the cinnamon stick and one thing I love about these is that they smell gorgeous so just tied that on using the twine that comes with it um, and another one here I'm just gonna put them all over the tree so yeah, nearly there. I stopped by Primark. I haven't been to Primark in ages. But every time I go in there, I'm like, why do I not shop at Primark, Primark, whatever you want to call it? Because I got these super comfy loungewear. It is so soft. When I tell you it's so soft, so soft. Like, why spend a bajillion? These, this was 11 pounds, 11 pounds, 22 pounds for the set. They're so soft and so affordable, so. Yeah, I spent a lot of money in Primark on a load of like winter things, so a few pairs of boots, just all these things that, I mean, I was going to say they won't last, but I've had boots from Primark that have lasted like years, so who knows, by God's grace they will last, but I love the items I got from there, like, oh my goodness you guys, if you're on a budget, go to Primark, they've got some great stuff, okay, I absolutely love this. Oh, and I got these socks, I got so many pairs of cosy socks, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I just feel like I'm in a place where, that I love right now. I love living here and I just want to make the most of it. Christmas is my favourite season. I love it so much. So yeah, in the first week of December, it should have all been done before the first, but whatever, I've been busy. I just want to get everything sorted and I'm really, really excited. So, got the little cinnamon stick. I'm just going to unravel what it's tied together in. These were like maybe a couple of pounds from Wilco. So it's got this like brown wire. I'm just going to use that to attach it at an angle to the tree. Ta-da! I am done with the Christmas tree. That's a lie because I haven't put a star on. I just realised I haven't put the star on top. But I might just go without a star. You know, there was a wooden star that I really wanted from B&Q, but y'all, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've been to every single shop this, today. You know, when you go to loads of different home stores, like Next, Home Sense, all that jazz, I'm tired. So I'm just going to leave it without the, tr the star for now. And I'm just going to do the big reveal because it's just, this has been going on for too long. Are you ready to see my Christmas tree for 2022? Three, two, one. Ta-da! I mean, you've literally already been seeing it the whole way through. But here she is. I'm praying she survives. Because even though I watered her, there's still quite a lot of water. But I really like this, you guys. It's so different than I usually do. Usually it's all like really shiny gold. But I just love this kind of natural, natural take. She looks gorgeous. I'm so excited to watch some Christmas films in here. With the fireplace on, the candles. Yeah, she's a cutie. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my Christmas tree. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll list the things I used as well in the comments. Maybe, maybe next year or this year you can use some of the bits too because it was affordable in the end. But yeah, thank you for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my gosh, was that whole thing out of focus? I'm not redoing it. I'm not redoing it because I'm tired. Okay, bye. Love you.